and welcome to High Tea with Hearty. I'm Hearty White, and welcome to High Tea. I don't say English High Tea because this is not the same tradition as English High Tea. They have a very specific thing that they do, very type of specific Indian person they exploit to get their tea, and then they soak them in hot water until they tell them where they get their tea leaves. And then they take the tea leaves home, and whether it be from salon or what have you, and they have, they make them in a pot, and they make them very bitter, and then they put sour milk in it or something. That is not the way we do it here. I believe they use malt vinegar. Uh, the way we take our tea here is very different. And though I'm using a traditional English blend today, because in honor of the English and their original kind of high tea, uh, I am not, uh, it's a called kind of P and G tea is what it's called, or Procter and Gamble tea. Look what I'm having in it. Look at this tea cup today. Today's tea cup. It is. Can the cameraman get a shot of that properly? That is the Diana and Philip Memorial. Not Philip. That's your father-in-law. That's a different mug. That one is actually a beer stein I got. No, this is the Charles and Diana marriage. Wed Wedgwood, and they got married, uh, when did they get married? Does anybody remember that? Now, see, here's the thing, though, when I drink it, I'm looking at them. Now, you're going to look at something else. What is that? It's a mark of a time lord. Again, I'm not from, uh, England. I'm just trying to share some things with you today that I find interesting that we would normally share over tea. Like, I'd say, hey, I found this piece of slag. Look at that pretty. What do you think of that? So you're making iron. It's big pig iron. It comes out slag. Like that left over. Interesting. Another thing is I got a nut. Found a nut. And also this uh, I'm put these on for that. This one. This is a, an emergency. Got this at the Spy Museum. I didn't get it. A friend got it at the Spy Museum in Washington. And you use it in your car. If you have an emergency, it's got everything on there. A little mini gun that shoots out the window if you're trapped in your car. And it's also got a light. It's got an emergency signal. If you're, oh no, if you're. Ah, so, whoops, that's a. Wow, that almost attracted attention. Also has this, you pull this out, and you can cut a seatbelt with it like this. If you're being held by the seatbelt, if the seatbelt becomes sentient, which often will happen, you can you slice it up like that, and it will, and, but you gotta take a chunk out of it. It's like English ivy. Otherwise, it fuses again like that. You wanna see cell division? 